Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. For today's lunch I'm going to be cooking a one pan sausages and pasta noodles dinner. So let's begin. Okay, so let's start cooking. I'm going to turn the stove on. I'll turn it up to medium high to high. Let's move this out of the way. And got my sausages here. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, there's nine here. Thought it was seven. Ah, this is because it's a difference. These sausages are skinless. I've used to eating the other sausages that come in packets of twin packs like this. But I think it's seven on each one. So I'm going to add um about three, four tablespoons of olive oil there. And while we wait for that to heat up, got my sausages here. We've got some frozen peas, which are half unfrozen. Frozen peppers, I'll leave a link below if you want to know how to freeze your own peppers. And these are the noodles that I'll be using. If you haven't got these noodles, pasta shells is a good option. I was going to use pasta shells, but I didn't have enough for this. So we'll just wait for this to, to heat up. Right, so this oil is hot-ish. I don't want it to be fully, you know, boiling hot there, that will splash everywhere. So. I'm just going to put in the sausages here. And I want to fry these off so that they're, they're browned all over. So I'll be moving them about every now and then. Okay, right, so once these sausages are browned all over, I'll just take them out and I'll move them onto this plate, because I'm going to chuck in the, the peppers there. I'm not using any onion or garlic today, that's because I've run out and the wife's just gone to the market. Okay, so I'm going to chuck in the red pepper. Leave that splash a bit. And the peas. And just soften this up. Well, that's a nightmare, all this splashing. It's the sausages, isn't it? So let's just soften this, up, soften this up for a bit. Right, so after about two or three minutes, this is softened up. It's not browned, soft, it just softened up, you know. What I'll do is add the stock cube in. I'll crumble this stock cube. Chicken one. If you haven't got chicken, you can use vegetable, meat, any stock cube, as long as it's not fish or seafood, it wouldn't go well, would it, with that? And I'll add a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I hate it when you get you get it on the sides here. So shut it, and that's done. And um, what else? Oh, I'm going to add the salts now. Depending on how much salt your 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 um, your stock cube has, you add the salt that you need. And I'm going to add three tablespoons of fried tomato, and I just add a bit of water. And just move this about. 
so that it dissolves, you know, the stuff cube. And next, I can add the sausages in. And I'm going to put these nicely there. Might, yeah, I might leave them like that. And then I'll add the, the pasta. So we'll just let, leave that there to boil for about five minutes. And I'll cover it up. Okay, get out of there, you fly. Bloody flies. Right, so after about five minutes. Wow, look at that. The colour on that. Well, I was going to have them all like that, you know, but... Well, yeah, maybe it's not possible, maybe it is. What am I saying? It's the hot heat, heat wave we're having. It's making my brain... It's messing it up. Right, I'm going to chuck in the... Noodles. Yay. And I'm just going to cover it all up. That was half a litre of water. Right, so let's spread this about. And still on number seven by the way so I'm gonna whack this up whack it right up to number nine and bring that to the boil I'm gonna add a bit more water just a little bit more like half a glass more it's because before I used a bit of water from here remember and we'll wait for this to boil right that doesn't take too long so it's starting to boil. I could have added some yellow food colourant. You know, this stuff. But... Uh, or the saffron. But we'll give it a different colour today, shall we? Right, so I'm going to turn this down. I'll turn it back down to number 7. And I'll cover it up. Leaving a gap, of course so it doesn't go everywhere and we'll leave it there until all the water has disappeared so about 15 minutes I reckon okay so this is ready look at that what a beautiful meal so easy to do I think I should put this on the budget recipes also shouldn't I Yeah, might just do that. So, oops, message. Let's turn this off. And we'll finish this video off by saying thank you to everyone that has watched my, watched my cook this. Everyone who subscribes to my channel, who likes my videos and leaves comments. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.